to use or not to use your real name when promoting your voiceover business? That is the question I'll address this week on today's DeWeese Directive. Stay tuned. Hi there, I'm Bill DeWeese from voiceoverrevolution.com. Welcome to this week's DeWeese Directive. And before I answer the question, should you use your real actual name when promoting yourself as a voice talent? Uh, I want to let you know that this, well, actually later this week, Thursday, which would be tomorrow from the day that this, this will be uh, available to be seen on Wednesday. So if you're watching on Wednesday, tomorrow night will be the first uh, monthly Q&A webinar that I'll be doing for my DeWeese members only group. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then check out DeWeeseMembers.com. I've been working on this idea for a couple of years in my mind, and I wanted to put something together that would allow us to stay in, in continuous contact where I could provide you with relevant, up-to-date information that would be a two-way street of information plus additional bonus content from uh, industry experts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That is what I'm calling DeWeese Members. And I'm having a very special offer through this Friday only, which is the 19th. So through Friday night at midnight, Central Time, um, you can be grandfathered in at a very special introductory price of only $47 a month to be a part of this membership and access all of the content and be a part of the Q&A that will be a part of that. After that, it goes to 97 bucks, and we'll, we'll never be lower than that again. So if you want to take advantage of that special offer, do so now at DeweeseMembers.com. All right. So to use or not to use your actual name. And I guess you could look at it a couple of ways. In other words, should you use uh, another name such as, for instance, when I worked in radio, in my early, early, early days of working in radio, I thought Deweese was just a terrible broadcast name. Not only me, but the, the program directors that I worked for. And I was forced to take on several names throughout my career. I was Bill Curtis at one point in time. Like that name's never been used. I was Billy the Kid Matthews at a country station I worked at for a while. And... Um, I can't remember. I think that might have been it. But eventually, some, I had a general manager who said, hey, just use your real name, which was a huge relief to me because, you know, whether you like it or not, I like my last name. It's easy. At least it's easy for me to remember. So from a name perspective, I'm a big fan of using your real name as opposed to using a broadcast type name. Now, if you decide to use like a different stage name, um, the, the main thing is be consistent with it. Whatever you use, use and stay with that throughout your career because if you switch at some point in the future then you create confusion and you may have a hard time connecting with older clients that you've done work for years ago but really the bigger question here the one i'm asked more often is should i use my name or should i use a business name in promoting my voiceover business like and these are just hypotheticals like awesome voices or uh, bestvoiceintheworld.com or you know whatever uh, a name that would be more of a business name rather than your individual name. So, for instance, if I was, you know, cool middle-aged voice guy, as opposed to Bill DeWeese or BillDeWeese.com, um, I would recommend highly using your own name as opposed to a business name when marketing yourself. And let me tell you why. The primary reason for that is that when you use a business name, it creates an impression that it's more than just you. It creates the, the impression that you are actually a stable of voices. Like, for instance, uh, my company name is Bill DeWeese Media Incorporated. And um, I don't promote myself that way, but on a lot of my correspondence and certainly on my invoicing, um, Bill DeWeese Media pops up. And I had a client the other day saying that they wanted to hear some demos from several of my voices. Well, I don't have several other voices. I've got me. So uh, just the very fact that they saw Bill DeWeese Media, to them implied that it was more than just me. So that's the first reason I would recommend using your voice and not a company voice, or a company name, rather. Your name, not a company name, not voice. The other reason is, I think, and I don't have data to back this up. So in other words, I've not conducted in-depth research on this. But just in my experience, it seems to me that a name is more easily identifiable to a person than a company name, especially when it's just you. I mean, when you're talking about Coca-Cola or Frito-Lay or General Motors, that's one thing. 
But when you're talking about a voiceover talent, one of the key things in marketing is to make sure that clients remember you. And it seems to me that it's easier to remember a name, a person's name, and a more of a personal connection as opposed to a business name. Now, again, I can't prove that that's a fact, but it seems to me, at least I know the way I market myself, I want to create more of a one-on-one type of relationship with my customer. So I'd rather that they know me as Bill DeWeese as opposed to awesomevoices.com or, or I hope they think I'm awesome, but you know, I, I want them to remember me as me so that in a week, a month, a year, five years from now, when they need me again, hopefully something about my name, they'll remember Bill DeWeese, that guy who did work for them. Um, so for that reason, for those two reasons that I just gave you, I recommend using your name. And when it comes to marketing, you need every edge you can get. So Use your name, stick with your name, create more of a personal connection and relationship with your, with, your, uh, with your customers that way. Help them to remember you so that they can hire you again and again and again. Thanks for checking out this video. Hope that you'll sign up for DeweeseMembers.com. Remember, you can take advantage of that incredible uh, grandfathered-in price of 47 bucks a month if you sign up by this Friday night. And I will talk to you again very soon.